Welcome back here tubers, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to look at Cigar City Brewing Company's High Lie IPA, but this one is aged on American White Oak. 7.5% IPA. I guess it's not necessarily a, yeah it is American White Oak, I thought I read that on the side of the label. Poured out a really, really hazy orange, uh, bright white head, there was about a finger there when I initially poured it. Not, not as much carbonation as I'd like to see in an IPA, but Let's give it a swirl on the nose. Oh wow, you're definitely getting that oak. A lot of vanilla, there's this creaminess to it. There's a nice kind of orangey hot note in there, like a tangerine. Maybe like a, a sweet grapefruit. Certainly get those oak tannins. Oh yeah, just this it smells fantastic. No, I've had the regular highlight, I don't know how fresh a bottle, but I've heard this version is amazing, so. Yeah, it's got a sweet nose. There's a little bit of like an earthy sort of piney character in there as well. But let's dig in. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. It's got decent bitterness, not overly bitter. Some nice sweetness, not only from the hops, but from the malt. Up front you get this sort of herbal, piney, grassy bitterness and then uh, then the beer gets real sweet in the middle. Wow, a big like sweet orange, that like sweet mandarin orange, like tangerine, just really sweet citrus notes that play really well with a lot of vanilla notes coming from the wood and it kind of makes it like a creamsicle in the middle which is pretty awesome. There's also some nice sweet bread, a little bit of a caramel malt presence to it. That is all this big sweetness and the, the end finishes with a lot of the oak tannins uh, helping dry out the palate. Definitely get that woody earthy character. There's like a little bit of like an herbal touch as well in the, in the end coming from the hops. Based on what I know about Cigar City I'm assuming they used American white oak spirals for this beer instead of you know so they don't age it very long it's only like five days or so they extract a lot of character from the wood which works with this IPA because the IPA still has a good hop character it hasn't gone through this extended aging process where the hops are going to start to drop out so this is this is great this is fantastic it's a good bl blend of there's a good amount of oak presence but it's not overly done and it's not like too bitter of a tannin character as well so it, it has a nice balance with the oak and the IPA and the malt, the malt character with the hops, the oak, all really well done. Highly recommend checking this one out. I'm going to give it an A. It's definitely one of the better East Coast uh, style beers and, and the, the white oak just really takes the beer to a different level. So check it out. That's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.